Hello, my name is Dr Jennifer Mitchell. I'm a paediatric trainee working in the neonatal unit at Princess Royal Maternity Hospital. Today I'm going to talk you through the correct steps and procedures involved in obtaining a blood culture. A blood culture is a common procedure to be performed within the neonatal unit. It is indicated in cases of suspected infection and is considered gold standard for the diagnosis of sepsis. All staff members who perform a blood culture should ensure that they use an aseptic non-touch technique throughout the procedure. This is important as it helps to reduce contaminated growth, which could otherwise lead to unnecessary use of antibiotics. In this unit, we most commonly obtain blood cultures via the cannulation of a peripheral vein, although they can also be obtained from a newly inserted umbilical or central line or peripheral arterial line. The first step of the procedure is to identify your vein, which on this doll we will be using the right leg. You then need to set up your trolley, ensuring that you have all the correct equipment available. This will include cleaning the top of the blood culture bottle with an appropriate wipe for equipment. The next step is to wash your hands and clean them using a sterile towel and down sterile gloves. The first step is to ensure that the area you're going to be performing is sterile and to put a sterile towel underneath the affected limb. Clean the area where you're going to be performing the cannulation. You should let this dry for 30 seconds, which you can ensure by asking an assistant to run a timer for you. The next step is to cannulate the vein. If you need to repalpate the site, then you need to re-clean the skin. If you have a failed cannulation attempt, then you need to use a new cannula for every attempt. Once you have inserted your cannula, you need to obtain the blood for some for culture using a sterile needle and syringe. You need to ensure that you have at least 0.5 mils of blood available for an effective blood culture. Insert your sample into the blood culture bottle, which will then be sucked up by vacuum. If you need to leave the cannula in situ, flush it through with an already prepared tea piece and apply Tegaderm. If you're removing the cannula, then ensure that their bleeding has stopped once it has been removed. Print off any necessary blood forms from the computer and send the samples to the lab. Ensure that you document you have taken a blood culture in the notes by using the blood culture sticker and also on Badger. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that in the future you will use this aseptic standardised technique when you perform blood cultures. We aim that this will reduce contaminated growths, reduce the use of unnecessary antibiotics and improve the standard of care that we provide for our patients.